We just do it so much, we don't even think about it. I'm talking about touching our faces. In one university in Australia, really thought about it. Researchers observed medical students in a 2015 study to see how many times they touch their face and how doing that could be a big way folks are getting sick. Get this, each of the 26 students tested on average touched their face 23 times an hour. So we wanted to try our version of the experiment in our newsroom. Leah here, working on tonight's forecast, we counted 61 times in 32 minutes and anchored Jackie 21 times in 14 minutes. It's a natural habit, which is why ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor Dr. Jen Ashton says folks need to think twice. Common sense and productive and help can alleviate some fear. Try to get enough sleep. Try to get regular exercise. Uh, if you smoke, try to stop and wash those hands and wash those cell phones. And one way you can do that is by just grabbing some disinfecting wipes and actually wiping down your phone. I actually do this myself pretty much every night after I get home from work, but nothing can beat actually washing your hands with good old soap and water. You want to do this for up to 20 seconds and if you don't want to count up you can sing along to happy birthday or sing 20 seconds of the chorus of one of your favorite songs. And can you imagine how many services you touch on the daily at work, in the office, on the phone, on the computer, and everywhere else? Of course you can't ignore your coworkers either. <coughs> you, using tissues or, or your elbow or the sleeve if you are coughing or sneezing uh, avoid uh, touching your eyes or, or face uh, with contaminated hands. And I had to hold myself accountable too. In a serious condition. My photojournalist says I was repeatedly on the phone, then fixing my earpiece and microphone. But the message to everyone is not to be fearful, but to be aware. Depending on where you live, the risk I think is still low. The risk is greater for you getting infected with influenza or seasonal flu. Austin Carter, 13 Action News.